Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Silent Laws. Welcome to my tutorial on how to set up the PC port of Tony Hawk's Underground. PC port is actually very unique for the fact that it was only ever released in Australia and New Zealand by Beanox Studios, I think it was called. Uh, I don't know why they love them so much more than us, but it's like bullshit. So, you know, I usually wouldn't encourage people to be a pirate, a pirates of the Caribbean, to Pirates the Tony Hawk EM, but in this case, it's fucking impossible to find the physical copy, so uh, it'll be a little bit more lax on you this time for that. But before you even think about installing said game, you're gonna want to go through some Windows update things. All the links will be in the description of this video. I myself run the uh, Windows 7 operating system, so for me, I just had to uninstall the Windows update KB3086255. Beautiful little video made by the Packle. Um, and I would recommend using Windows 7 over Windows 10. Despite fixes for Windows 10, it is still a little bit laggier, load times are a little bit longer on Windows 10, so just so you know, but both are better than console, so you caveman using your consoles, what are you doing, you writing on walls still? You writing on the walls? Hieroglyphics? Anyways, so here's Windows 10, you're gonna want the anniversary update, uh, it's, I don't know, it's in here somewhere. You're gonna need that, you're also gonna need to do this fix, the uh, safe disk DRM fix. I'll link that down below as well, uh, Pack will probably explain it better than me because he actually has lived this struggle. So that's, you know, all you really need to do for that. Here's the lovely little link here, proskater.info. Uh, has a link to the game, leads to Dropbox, download that. Should be all good and set up. Thank you, Mr. Moofin. I myself got my copy from a different place, so I needed one of these. It's a uh, no CD crack. Uh, game Copy World has one. THPS Mods, I guess, has one. So I think the proskater.info one should be fine. Already set up, good to go. Now, for streaming purposes and also if you want to play the game in a window, you're going to need an external program. I myself use D3D Windower. I know some people use DXWind or DXWND. I think there's some differences between like, I think you can alt tab a little bit better through D3D Windower. Sometimes if you alt tab in a weird way, the game will full screen still and be a little awkward. Um, but for the most part, I really do enjoy D3D Windower. And once more, speedrun.com slash thug1 slash resources has a lot of nice resources here. Uh, if you're new to the game and you need to be caught up on things, you know, the D3D Windower is there. There's a link to the safe disk fix, uh, Windows 10. There's level saves here with the trick cat bag, which I'll, I'll go through uh, a little bit later here. But right now you're just going to want D3D Windower. There's a direct link there. You can Google it, whatever, download, and that will be that. Now we'll get on over to D3D Windower. I already have it open here. So... Once you open it up, it should look something like this. Click the little plus sign to add a program. You're going to want to navigate to your programs folder, Activision, Tony Hawk's Underground. Uh, and once you, you know, go in here, you can put the game, uh, don't go launcher, go game thug.exe, add that up there. Uh, click this little thing, it's settings, and I think I do like 1080 by 768 or something like that. I don't know, some stupid shit like that. Hop on over to foreground control, click use foreground control and get active window. Should be good to go. Um, I might have to relaunch D3D window over here once I add a program. It usually does this to me, I don't know why. Uh, and it should work just fine. So here's the windowed mode of Tony Hawk's Underground. Uh, as you see, everything works. I can go through, I can start my game, blah blah blah, and everything is fine and dandy, uh, except for the fact that I just bailed on my face there. I'm not sure how different the controller setups vary depending on what you have. I myself use a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller, uh, and the launcher works just fine for me. I think I went a little bit too far there. So here's the launcher, set all your your shit up, there's your controls for keyboard, you're gonna wanna go over here, set up your controller, this is mine, these are all my buttons, so 
yeah, if that doesn't work, I would recommend something like Joy to Key or something like that, and then go through that, so. I also think it's worth noting that we do have a Thug 1 auto splitter courtesy of Papa Fog. You're gonna want to open Live Split as administrator. This is key to having it work. So run it as an administrator, open it on up. You're gonna want 12 splits for beginner. New Jersey, Manhattan, Tampa, San Diego, Hawaii, Vancouver, Slime City Jam, Vancouver 2, Moscow, New Jersey 2, Pro Team, Eric. You can name them whatever you want, doesn't matter, as long as you have 12 splits. You can call them fucking Spaghetti Squash, Martha Stewart's Blunt Rolling, like who cares. So here it is, mine's already been activated, go through your settings, script path, you know, navigate to that, and it should be just peachy. Might want to reset your game just in case it's not working out for you. So, boom, started, didn't need to press anything, What up, Eric? don't even matter, and that's how you play the game. Alright, I think I've covered pretty much everything except the elephant in the room, or should I say the cat in the room? The cat bag, if you prefer. The cat is out of the bag. You can read up about cat bag and a bunch of other different Tony Hawk underground strats here in this Google Doc. There's pictures of the, you know, the, the run the run through John Madden. There's demos, links to a bunch of individualized videos of different strats being demoed to you. Cat Bag was found by Pokemon Ace 101, tested on Thug 1 by Sub-Zero Reptile, among other Tony Hawk players. Um, Cat Bag, if, as you see here, is taking a 0.4 second created trick and renaming it as other tricks in the game. And what this does is make certain goals very fast because you're executing tricks at a faster rate and you're eliminating RNG because you can map a certain creative trick to many different slots. So you see here, all these different directionals are the same trick. I'll, I'll teach you guys how to do that in a second here. Creative tricks also make another strat called butt slaps a lot easier. So definitely, uh, check this out if you're gonna start running here. Alright, so to lead you through Cat Bag, you can do everything in high score slash free skate and just, you know, tweak everything here, special tricks, flip tricks, all that kind of stuff. It's good to have all of these sort of lip tricks just for nail all the tricks in New Jersey too, so you don't fall on your head 24-7. The two tricks I keep normally are the FS Shifty. It's very fast to execute. You can do a boneless 180 BS Shifty very quickly, which fills your special meter, which makes scoring goals a lot easier, and special makes you move faster in general on the ground. And also Madonna. Boneless 180 Judos are OP as fuck. Trust me, trust and believe, they're amazing. I keep those two, and because of how I set it up, these are not displayed in any RNG-centric goal. So that's where I keep most of my other tricks. Uh, McTwist is good to have on there as well, because you can free up a special slot. So you can have semi-flip Indy 900 and mix it up, which is very awesome for combos. So I'm going to demo how to do this on our boy Chad here. So you have your regular tricks here. What you're going to want to do is map a created trick that you're going to throw away. A, th a throw away created trick. So let's say I, I'm not going to use this. You need to make sure you map a throw away created trick or else it just gets pushed somewhere else. These regular tricks, you know, move around. Um, but if you just use creative tricks, that doesn't happen. So just real quick, you know, gonna put all of these to Nutbuster, and uh, this is how you eliminate RNG, guys. Just to show you guys, for normal, I set it up a little differently because there's a goal where you have to do five nollies on normal and like 15 on sick. I have them as nolly, and then I I put other things in different areas. But you can play around with it if you want. Just keep in mind what I said, throw away created trick, transitions into the actual useful created trick, and that is how you map cat bag. So yeah, that should be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any other questions, be sure to check out our Discord, our community Discord. We have a bunch of people that are perfectly willing to help you guys out. So any questions about getting into the game or anything like that, ask us, hit us up in the Discord. Links down below for everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy speedrunning.